social impact and you want to create history and impact on GP, you really have to be consequent with what you're offering. So we worked together with our clients uh, and we created what we call like a workshop on defining what is the big idea behind this, this city? What are we going to develop? I'm not in this picture, but many of the, the team that was involved in the, in the in, I took the picture, as you can see. And we were working together on what is this big idea? What is this central idea that we want to be perceived for? What if people say our name, what is the emotion we want to generate? I mean, this is groundbreaking stuff, right? So we started to have some words about the central idea that together, and this was key to involve everybody that was involved in the project so that they feel it was theirs and not us just going and saying, what is the city all about? And it was really interesting about the discussion of central idea, right? And this central idea is going to be what makes everything going on in the city. The services that you offer, the, the design of the city, the architecture, the, 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 the philosophy, the philosophy behind it. It's a filter for everything you do. That's, that's what the central idea is all about. And it's the, what it means by central idea is that what you want others to have about you in one word. Yeah? So, and sometimes they are very simple ideas, but then they have to be turned and to be, to be activated, right? So this city, it's called, the, the central idea is an inspirational destination. That was the central idea behind it. It was like, we want every stakeholder to feel inspired every time they visit Fashion City. This was the idea. Now, the, the, the question is, okay, that's very nice, but... How the hell do I make this a reality? How do actually do I inspire? How do I make this as the most inspiring destination in Brazil? How do I make this a reality? So the first question is, how can I inspire? So we worked with the client and explained like, look, if you want to inspire, it means you need to be the first. And people will remember you for that. They feel inspired. You need to be different. Everything that you do, needs to be different. Can you bear with that responsibility? Or to be a reference. And this uh, is also key in so, in, so that you can actually become a, a national reference. And, and we were working very hard on them to really understand that if you want to be an inspiration, you need to be true to, to your brand promise. Huh? So, very nice, this is all good, this is nice utopia, this is okay, I want to be the reference, I want to be unique, I want to be the best, you know, so let's do it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if I have an investor or in this new city, um, someone that open, wants to open a restaurant, and they want to open a fast food chain, and they say, hey, fashion city, I really got inspired by your city, I really like the idea, can I open my fast, my fast food chain there? What are you going to say? Is this inspiring? <laughs> and then you go like, okay, well, you know, how can I explain? No, this is not inspiring. This is not inspiring. I mean, this is a traditional aspect on, uh, on what is uh, fast food. So he said, look, the brand strategy and the central idea is supposed to help. It's not supposed to make your life difficult. And it's supposed to create, to be an asset, to help do the thing. So whenever you work in a practical case, in this example, we say a little like to the fast food chain, look, we want to inspire. We don't want to say inspiration, but we want to inspire others. So why don't you tell the story about yourself? Why don't you say the story about your life? Why don't you say the story that this fast food actually employs local people and actually the recipe was done by the local village that was done there? And yeah, this is on brand. This, you are making that this tench point, the regardless of what the brand strategy, the, the, the sector is, it's being faithful to the brand idea, right? And, or for instance, they want to open a new university there. That was one of the things that I said, we want to create a university. And say, look, you're not going to have an MBA, you're going to have an MIA. You're going to have a Master of Inspirational Administration. And you only find that in Fashion City, because the cluster was all about fashion. So. These are the small things that you do, activities that you do that are that align with the brand strategy, align with the brand idea and make it happy. Even with the architects. I mean, what kind of architecture are you going to make? 
So when we talked with the architects, we say, look, if you want to build this, the, 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 the architecture and the urbanism about it, you really need to inspire. And of course this is not the case because this already exists, but this is just an example of you need to be true to what you try to promise, right? So, you know, all these kinds of things, all these small things, are what make the brand strategy of the city. And then we talk about my archi enemy, which is the logo. I hate the logo, I hate the logos, I want to kill all the logos in the world, I hope it was forbidden to develop logos, because um, everybody thinks that the country brand is the logo, and, and I say to, even I said to my friends, don't do the logo. Why don't we do the logo? What is the logo of Italy? <laughs> Nobody knows. Uh, what is the logo of Barcelona? Nobody knows. What is the logo of the US? Nobody knows what is the logo. <laughs> what is the tagline? Nobody knows. So it, that's not the brand. The brand is when I say the US, when I say Russia, when I say Moscow, when I say these cities, you associate with emotions. But anyways, here we go. We were asked to do the logo and we had to work with a creative team on how to do it. I, we don't have designers in-house, but we work with very uh, cool uh, team around the world. So, we had Fashion City, like I said, this was a city that wanted to evolve around the fashion industry. And uh, we had the name, it was Fashion City Brazil. Um, and we worked on developing the initials and they already started to use a lot this, this combination, Fashion City Brazil. We tried to use the same combinations of, of, of the Brazilian flag into um, the wording and we created a combination of everything. But if we say that this is a new destination, then it needs to be a flag. You need to create a new destination which is a flag. And we call it Fashion City Brazil, and we use it as a flag. We are creating a new territory, something that was not there, and actually you're creating and behaving like a new nation. We even create different um, Institution, so Secretary of Culture, Secretary of Inspiration. They have a Secretary of Inspiration that was, is obliged to create and to inspire every stakeholder that lives in the city. So, we even communicate this, like a new nation is being born in Minas, which is the, the region uh, where the state, where Belo Horizonte is. And you start to communicate this and you start to inspire everybody about that there's this new ideal in the city, in this region. And you communicate, and this is successful all over. And you even create a nationality for people that live there. And you create a passport. And of course, everybody that lives there is actually going to receive this passport. You're gonna, this is such a great story that you're going to create a, a book about it, explaining what was this all about. And of course, then the implementation and the communication is just details about it. But but look at how the brand lives and then how the brand actually makes this inspiration come across. And of course the logo is just the cherry on the top, it's just one of the things. But you can start to see like even, you know, inspired in Fashion City Brazil or even a flagship carrier together with a national carrier. Or made in Thailand, inspired by Fashion City Brazil, who knows. So, as I said, the city brand strategy or the country brand strategy Everything you see about the logo, every see you see about the communication, is just the tip of the iceberg. It's just the cherry on the top. It's just one of the small things, but underneath there's a lot of things that the products and services, the architecture, the experience you offer, that we call the brand touch points that are going to help, and you need to be coherent and like a nice orchestra, behaving the same way and making sure that every brand touch point that the visitor and investor has every time they go to the website, every time they hear someone talking about Fashion City is always inspiring and that's how you're going to make it. It's not just about the logo. Most of the times regions and cities they just focus on the top of the pyramid and look you can live without the top of the, of the pyramid, the top of the iceberg. You can be successful just with what, what it's underneath it. And of course, we had to create a structure on how to manage all this and how to be successful. And that's how we create in a Fashion City. In half an hour, I was able to explain how to create a city from scratch. And now they're building the city. The city is not built yet, but we are now uh, accompanying and, and working alongside with it. And this was what we call like 
building a new tourist destination because the focus was making sure that tourists would go there and live uh, there and visit there. Спасибо. Thank you.